woke up to be reminded that this part of the Lake District has often been connected with water speed records. It was here that Donald Campbell tried to become the fastest man on water in his jet-propelled boat, Bluebird. On his last attempt in 1967, he tried to push the record to 300 miles an hour. At the very moment of success, disaster struck. Tight squeeze, isn't yeah. it? I get my leg it's, down there. It's going to be different, anyhow. Yeah. Today, Campbell's ambition Thank lives you. on in a young businessman called Tony Fahey. I don't know. Oh. He plans to build a new record breaker using his experience in smaller powerboats. The one he offered me a ride in had already reached speeds of 130 miles an hour. But as the water was a bit choppy, he told me he wouldn't take it much over 90. It doesn't take long to get up, does it? Oh, she's away now. 80, 90. That's enough now to slow down a bit. Yeah, the, the conditions aren't all that good, no. are they? No, she'll fly if you're not careful. Well, what does that mean? That means she'll go up in the air with the water being so bad. Well, we can turn over. Yeah. What's the turning like on it? You've got to skid it round. And if you skid too far, it can go completely round in a U-turn. Yeah? Yeah. That's all it come to a stop. Well, you hope so. If it does that, you're lucky. <laughs> well, it looks a bit bumpy coming up. And we're up. And we're down. Yeah. Hey! 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 <laughs> that was a big wave. Yeah. Oh, 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 you're going now. <laughs> Suddenly, we reached a stretch of smooth water. Tony opened up the throttle and I held my breath. For one moment, the needle touched 100, only a third of Campbell's speed, but more than enough for me.